We here, man. It's Wild ninety four one Wild ninety four one dot com. Joey Franchise here uh, with the hometown kid himself, who had one hell of a year. I mean, damn, best kickoff returner, kick returner, punt returner in the game right now. Lord. Tampa's own uh, Ray Ray McLeod's here, hanging out. Yo. Glad you could finally make it up here, dog. Glad I can finally make it, man. I know. It's been a long time coming. Been talking about it. And for about sure. Last year sometime. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've been so. trying to make this thing happen, too. He's got yeah. Isaac Ronte in here as well. Uh, yeah. Artists that you uh, you have on your label as well. We're going to get into in a little bit. Um, now, you know, you being from the city, I mean, you play ball at Sickles. Uh, I mean, you were kind of like on that Tom Brady wave with a sixth round, but you were one of those gems, and you showed it off this year. Uh, especially with the Steelers and, you know, being, you know, playing for Buffalo and kind of having an up and down situation with that and finally finding a home in Pittsburgh where they trusted you and they believed in you. And when things got kind of crazy with the whole Juju stuff, you stepped in and you showed out you could do way more than what you was already there to do. So, I mean, tell me what this season was like and different from any other. This year for me, it was more preparation, uh, meant opportunity. It's been a long time coming in that area too, just for me coming in the sixth round, going to Buffalo. Uh, then I went to practice school. I went to the Panthers for eight games. And uh, my story, I think it speaks of success is a grind. You know, so not everything is overnight. You gotta be patient and uh, work while you wait. And that's in uh, anything, you know what I'm saying? You work while you wait. So for me, that's what it really, I looked every day I went in there, it was like the rent was due every day. So yeah. that's what for me it was. I, I respect that a lot, man, and, and, it, and it showed too, I think, that play that got y'all into the playoffs is kind of like that that moment that testament yeah. like yo ray ray's here and you came in through big clutch gene uh break it down to me a little bit like what that play was like man like that like I, me being a homie of yours like i was out my seat like yo i can't believe that this happened like that was a big moment for you like i felt that i can yeah. only imagine how you felt what, yeah. like what was that moment for you like like how was that play drawn was it meant to go to you like break it down Honestly, felt bigger on the sideline than it did on the, in, uh, during the game, just because it was like we were so locked in and getting down there, getting us in field goal position. And uh, I think two plays before that, I dropped a little pass from Ben on an uh, over route. Whether it was my drop or a low ball, I, I, I take the bullet. The receivers take the bullet all the time. So uh, for me, it's, it's a ball. It hit both my hands, so I should have caught it. And then two plays later, Ben never hesitated from me. He had trust in me. And fourth and eight came down and. I made that play, and it was just, you felt the energy in the stadium. And every every stadium we play in, you see yellow towels. Whether yeah. the team yellow or not, you're going to see yellow towels. Like, Steelers fans are going to rock out all the <laughs> they, time. Yo, they everywhere. And, uh, when the play was made, it felt like a home game. And it was like, damn, like, and then the field goal, we, we took a knee and ran the ball here and there and took a knee. And then we put the ice on the cake with uh, Chris Balls, and it was like, it was like, yeah, we 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 Dumb. now, now we all do the job. And then cheese game came, and it just got to execute better. Yeah, not but it, but it was cool to to kind of to extend that season, especially yeah, for it being like Ben's last year. I mean, you know, I mean, just being a spectator, just watching that, like you know, that was that was huge. Especially, yeah. you know, I mean, how's that feel for you too? Like, I mean, you're playing with a Hall of Famer, you're catching the ball that actually extends his 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 career, you know, at least into the postseason to see what happens, and you know, you're to thank for that. You know what I mean? Yeah, in a sense, you know what I mean? Like being and, part of that. And that, to that, be that. honest, going into the Steelers. Everybody got their opinion on Ben until you actually get to know him. You know what I'm saying? And me and Ben actually got close, closer this past year. Uh, when I started playing a little bit more, we started having conversations about family, uh, where he got, where how he named his son uh, after him, and all those off, off the field stuff. And uh, he actually like just being around him. He his winner mentality, his winner edge is just different. Like he do whatever it take, and playing with a quarterback that, quarterback like that, you probably never get that again. Right. And the arm talent he has, the I mean, his stats and production for the last two decades speak for itself. So you can never you can never uh, ask for a better quarterback than that. It's, I was blessed to be part of his career. Yeah, that was, that was that's big, man. Like especially being with him on that last, you know, that that last, you know, tail end of his career, and and really get to get those gems and those those uh, that knowledge from him as a player and as a you know as a man you know especially you because you know you just welcomed a, a newborn yeah. baby into the world too so congratulations yeah, on that it. you too <laughs> so Congrats. what's next you know real quick you know staying on the Steelers topic um you know what's next like if, if, if the front office is like if they gave say they gave you the power and it was like hey Ray Ray you know who should we get next who who, who should we get at quarterback 
what should we do? Should we go draft? You know, there's you got you got Aaron sitting out there, Deshaun Watson out there, you know, Garoppolo, you know, like all I'm the rumors. You know the rumors. You know I'm gonna say D Watt. There you go, yo, Deshaun right. Watson, of course. Uh, and not because I played college, but I'm just type of let me let me just say his NFL. His NFL work speak for itself, man. Just I mean, he's not always had the best defense, best team, but he's 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 won. Yeah, his stats. He's always, you were there with him when he was top, <laughs> top two, and then going back to college when I played with him. I done been in huddles with him when we, we're down or up. It's always the same. It's never changing. The energy is always up, and the mentality of winning is always there, whether we're down or up. And we done been in hard fought games. We, I think we done lost, I think I lost two with him. National championship in the year, we lost the pit. So yeah, uh, it was never, never no doubt of like, let's go win it. I mean, you know, you had a little two losses, but other than that, it was no doubt. We always gonna be winners, like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So. D Watt, of course. D Watt for sure, man. That, that's that's gonna be interesting off season to see how that plays out, man. For real. Uh, one thing I've noticed too in the NFL, which is really cool, I feel like a lot of players have gotten, you know, like a lot of their personalities been out. Like you, you see in the NBA, guys like you know LeBron have you know yeah. had a voice, have been that personality and a brand of themselves. And it's cool that a lot of the NFL guys are doing it. You in such in a way, you know, you've involved yourself or integrated yourself more in, in music and you've uh, actually signed artists. You have Isaac Ronte who's actually right, us, right, right with us right now from the city, uh, dope R&B uh, artist. Uh, so tell me what it was like kind of kind of piecing that together and kind of finding your niche with using the NFL, using your talent as like that stepping stool to kind of do what you want to do. Oof. To be honest, it's something I, I grew into. I mean, uh, Eli, who you met, or Fame, who you met before, he, we all we did this. Uh, he's someone I looked up to as a young boy. My dad was in the music business, had his artists, and they all was in the house, in the studio, uh, on, at, at, at the basement, just a big old $2 million, $2 million studio. They're down there working, eight of them, six of them, whoever they're working, 24-7. So I was always around it. And... Uh, I'm not gonna lie. When I got to, I'm gonna say college, it was kind of looked at. Oh, he don't love football. He not focused on that. Oh, he worried about dressing. Cause I'm always dressing wherever. I'm oh at. yeah, the drip was crazy this year. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say it was disrespectful. It's a first impression. It's kind of an everything thing. For it. Like there's just anytime you see someone, you know, you go to the grocery store, you might see someone. Uh, and my dad told me at a young age, from football, I lay my clothes out before the game, every game, like from helmet to mouthpiece to. Detail, you know what, what did Dion say a long time ago? Like, if you, if you ain't looking uh, good, you look ain't good, playing good. good, play good, yeah, uh, yes, sir. And so, uh, my first two years of struggle just because I, I, I was always in the music, I had that's when me kind of started this in college, but it carried off in the, to the lead. And uh, I think that messed with my head a little bit because it was, oh, change who you are, you're never gonna make it in the lead. And I kind of was doing so, and that wasn't working, working at all for me, and it just was, I think. Triggering, triggering me mentally, like kept, kept me quiet in a bottle. And I think no man should be in a, kept in a bottle, right? Because that's how you mental and uh, and mental is something that you already got to focus on more than the physical part of football. I think that's where people miss mistake. Life itself is everything's mental, and uh, and when I got the Steelers, it was just like I think a little baby song came out. I know how I feel. And some uh, how it's called how you feel, but I feel yeah. a certain lyric he said, and I put it on there, and. It instantly hit me with Coach Tomlin, like, and it was like Coach, Coach really felt me, like, from day one when I met. I know you is. I, said, I know you are down there. I said just part more down there. Bring. He started naming all these Carver City. Like I'm like, but I forgot he was at the Bucks for a few years, and right. uh, he knew a lot of mutual people I knew, and it was just like it felt so good for someone to actually like feel me for who I am, you right. know, understand me, you know what I'm saying? And uh, that's when I kind of got established the last two years, and I, me, I was like, man, it's time to. Me, Ike, and my dad, and Blah, Fame, our team, whole team, and just right. like let's let's lock in now. You got established, now we could start working on that. Cause I didn't want to do nothing, nothing if it involved football for yeah. the longest. Because people were like, oh, he don't love football, and that bothered me. Like, don't tell me I, I, don't, I don't love something that I die for. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and now it's like I'm getting established and I'm trying to establish this now off the ground. Yeah. We got far than most people got in a few years. We we working so. I see you guys. You know, you guys were just doing recent performances, making college runs and stuff like that. Yes, so sir. I want to talk to Isaac real quick. We just passed him the mic. Um, 
Tell me, so, so, so what, you know, what's it like? You, you, got, you got your homie in your corner who, who believes in you, who, who really wants to take this thing to the next level. Mm -hmm. uh, you got the voice, you got the talent to make it happen. Uh, do you feel a sense of pressure the same way like maybe he feels some pressure as far as like when he steps on the field? Like how do you feel on the music aspect of it? I mean, I really don't feel pressure, but you know what I'm saying? He's always uh, been on my head since high school because I always used to sing and stuff like that. But I played football too. I played college football. So it was like I don't really want to like sing be a singing football player you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah so he um he's been on my neck since since high school and then college right after i graduated he was like we're gonna take this shit serious so and then we started taking it serious that's cool so when did you know that like you know all right i did you, you were playing college ball mm -hmm. that you wanted to transition and, and do the music thing like when, at what point did that like kind of click in your head um probably like the last semester of football when i knew it was like i knew i can still make it in football if i kept going but I just started finding that love for music and it was just, and I just started going to the studio more on the weekends and stuff when I had free time and it just, it clicked. That's cool. And, and what were some of those inspirations coming up? Like what, what were you coming up listening to? What kind of, uh, you know, kept inspire the sound? Um, coming up, I listened to a lot of different type of music, but late, like when I was in college, I listened to um, Major Nine was a real, you know what I'm saying, inspiration. A Boogie, you know, I got to say him because, you know, we argue that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I think A Boogie really talented. So, yeah, A, a Major 9 A Boogie probably. That's mm -hmm. cool. And, you know, with being on the, the Legend, which is uh, Legend Tribe, uh, so when when did that com collective come about? Was that your idea? Did you guys come sit together and come up with the name, yeah. the idea? Where'd the idea come from? You want to answer it? Go ahead. <laughs> uh, motor, motor Brother. And so like he was locked up for uh, two years and uh, whatever. And he had Life of a Legends. And I kind of had, I used to like be in class, I played with, we always, Life of a Legend, you know, we had clothes, like beanies, everything of it. And uh, when he kind of went away a little bit, we was like, Legend Tribe kind of sound like Tribe. We just, we was, it was like 20, it used to be like 20 of us just in school and all the females be like, L's, 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 L's in the hallway. That's lit. We were throwing parties and this and in high school. And then I threw a big party in college. Uh, and everybody had Legend Tribe shirts on, and we was like, Tatted on. I actually, I see, yeah. I actually, I actually had artists come up there, move up there at the time. Uh, people I grew up with, playing ball with, they moved, they was doing the music, but they kind of was on their own little wave. And I'm like, bro, like, in our in our circle, we got people that, that has the talent to be better than them, like whoever, like better than whoever out right now. Yeah. I was talking about him. Uh, I got a young one. Just. Raw talent, like yeah, the one you you were just sharing music uh, with me for the uh, yeah, actually he, recently. He, he here right now, uh, J three J three hundred, yeah. uh, one of the best things I've ever seen. I I've been around it since I've been legit like watching, like I said, fame, yeah. you know? uh, and and he's right I, over here, right? Yeah. Oh, you can bring him up in the camera. I mean, I know we gonna clog the camera, but uh, it's all good. I, I just been since, having some fun with it since like seventh eighth grade. We actually clicked, and it was just like I seen it a little bit, and like just. How people loved him and grab, I just observe and watch from afar and watch people just rest him, girls, friends, just in general. Yeah. How, how he led, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it was like, and I'm like, he, he got some, he got it. He got the it, you know what I'm saying? Right. Then I heard his music, I heard it over and over. I'm like, oh, he, 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 he got it for real. And yeah. it was just like, nah, let's keep him out the streets. Let's keep him, keep him locked in, know that it's more than just West Tampa. It's more than just Tampa itself. You can go have whatever you want. Give your mama, your little brother, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, uh, and I just been being a mentor in his field, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and that uh, that arena, and then the Legend Tribe and stuff, we just like, man, we could build this dynasty from the ground up. We don't need nobody to, you know what I'm saying? No, we done met with QC and Rock Nation, whoever you name, we done met with them in, right. in a heartbeat. We keep it on the tables and stuff, but that's just how it is. You you out here doing uh, you know diddy diddy moves and, and uh, <laughs> don't don't say that. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you gonna make him giggle over there. Nah, but, but, but the but the cool the cool thing is too is like the team is strong and, and y'all making all the right moves and y'all you know y'all not y'all not out here you know you guys are working under the table kind of make so you got like the big push when everything yeah. does fall in place. And I I think you built it from the ground up and that foundation that base and roots is right. Yeah. Man, you build oak tree, you build whatever tree you want. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's going to last forever. Them yeah. the ones that stand tall forever. So, I want to get Jay to, uh, yeah. the mic as well. Uh, kind of ask him real quick. You know, what's it like, you know, having a guy like Ray Ray who, who's trying to, 
you know, elevate this label, looks at you, wants to take you out of a certain situation and kind of elevate that talent that he knew that you had from Jump. So uh, just tell me what it is, like just ha- kind of having him around and, and the battery y'all putting each other's back as far as putting the music together. Honestly, I ain't going to cap. It's a blessing because, you know, not a lot of young people in the city get this chance, you feel me? And he helping me make a way for me and my family, you feel me? And I appreciate that. No doubt. No doubt. And, and when did you start rapping? Like, what age that it was like the 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 vibes was hitting? Um, honestly, I've been rapping since you feel me since a shorty, but I ain't never really take it serious. You feel me? But really, the age I started taking it serious probably like 12, 11. Okay. Made my first song. You know, city was you know they were rocking with it, so I just kept going. It's good. Yeah, I reposted it because I know he he put me on recently. Um, uh, and you know I'm seeing like you know. When I'm going to your page and I'm seeing the likes on the record, you know, I'm seeing guys like Juju and you see other big names facts, and facts. popping up. Like, is that like kind of surreal to you? Like, okay, these guys is tapped in. You know, Juju be doing the dances and shit. Yeah, so like, <laughs> hey, okay, feel like a dream. Like, it don't even be feeling real sometimes. So I don't know. Yeah, that's cool, man. Well, I appreciate. I'm gonna see Ray Ray. Uh, you know, having this label situation going on, is you already basically setting up the foundation. Uh, for you know when that time comes to you know make the move outside of, of football and so it's, it's having the record label uh putting out the team and obviously one of your biggest like dreams going forward what you mean as far as like dreams yeah like as far, yeah so, and is that like the big dream as far as like the label's concern and, and getting everybody situated and yourself with like in music is that like your next move is music I'm the next lie, move? my biggest dream is being the movie where movies that's, that's that right movies like they write music. I like. I, I. I. Like. I love writing movies. Like putting. Like I'm learning how to write scripts right now. Yeah. And that's where Legend Trouble also is just entertainment business as a whole. And uh, that's when you put the music into the movies. You doing all that. That's the place I want to be in. But of course, this is my my second passion itself. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Like, like I say, he, he he ain't got a talent for a reason. I was in class writing on my hand for no reason. Like yeah. that's just that's we blood, sweat, and tears. So of course this this second passion. Of course it's football. But after football. Yeah. That's what I put my blood into, so. Respect. Yeah, uh, you was just in LA for 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 the, all the festivities last week. Uh, yes, Did you rub elbows with I know you was with like Usher. Did you, you did you guys have any conversations yeah. or anything like that? Like, hey, you know, I got music. How do those conversations actually work when it's like guys of your stature, like star athletes and like celebrities like that? Like those conversations how do the, how how do you how do those conversations not come up like and not be awkward at the same time? For me it was awkward only because like I grew up listening to Usher. Like that's what yeah. my mom grew up listening to. So it's like it was awkward a little bit, but it was more like damn like fan, this and that. Uh he he watched football. Uh he, he was still his fan. Same thing with Cedric Entertainer. Uh me and him had some laughs too. When I when I first ran into him, I was like bottom of time, anyway I get it. <laughs> Off uh Johnson Family Reunion. That, that's one yeah. that's one that's a that's a classic. So uh then we just started talking about he was he's a big Steelers fan and the movies he had coming coming up and what he had going on. And uh, I was telling him that's that was really one of the main reasons I had went to LA during the week. I didn't stay for the Super Bowl in the week and all the stuff they had going on. Uh, I had a few events to go to, and uh, I had to do my my sleep reel and uh, acting portfolio and all that. Oh. So that's what I. Oh, was you came out. out there prepared with like a whole yeah, yeah. me yeah. I had, I had so I, <laughs> that's why I was out there. As soon as the season was over, I said, "Let's get on it." That's Straight business, up. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. From if it's not music, it's entertainment, and then of course it's workout, workout, workout. I always start after the Super Bowl, and that's what I've been doing. Morning workout. Yeah. Do what I need now, to does do. the team go out there too? Y'all get studio time and everything like yeah, that? Yeah, that's, that's, like, that's, that's, right like, that's the plans right now. That's the plans right now in the works. Uh, right now, we've been in Atlanta. Uh, they've, they've been in New York. I ain't go to New York when they went, but uh, so we've been moving around the East Coast. Now it's time to kind of slide to the West a little bit. <laughs> oh, so you're writing scripts, so I'm trying to get my acting shit together too. So, you know, you got a part in there for, <laughs> you know, a Puerto Rican cat, you know what I'm saying, in a bodega <laughs> that, or some that, shit. That's, that's a little mecca. <laughs> a little mecca. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> that's what's up, though. I, I didn't know that about you. That's crazy. That's that's really dope. Um, that's that's gonna be one hell of a move, man, for sure. And it's like you got a lot of these ideas, and definitely being integrated in the entertainment world is definitely like looks like it wants cool. to be the next move for you. Um, now I want to get into um more of like, for, for get back to the football thing. I want to ask real quick, like, cause a lot of your talent came from from receiving the ball, kick kickoffs, punts, and stuff like that. Does it bother you in a sense that the NFL's kickoff rule is like for them to start at a certain point where it's like you can't return the ball as much when you're getting the kickoff? Because you're probably one of the most electrifying guys like receiving the ball in that, yeah. but at that position on special teams. 
where it's like you know like guys like Dante Hall who used to yeah, you know and and if you if you watch football like that it's changed day and night like I said, it was a little bit easier to run it back then you had old lineman back there making wedges you can't you can't do doubles from that that uh the fullback position which is the wedge was like right in front of the kick returner for people that don't understand so uh it's a lot of one on one blocks so if somebody misses an inch of a block it's like it's easy to make them to make plays back then they had to run through linemen it ain't too much of a missing block, so it was a lot of holes open. But I think uh, if you want to make a play back there, you go. If you catch on the back goal post, you yeah. want to make a play, you got that leeway to do that. Some coaches give their players to do that. Uh, some games, if the coach feel like our offense making plays and we could get out of that, if, if I dig it in, in the 10 or the 15, coach, let me get up out of there. Offense will make a play out of it. But uh, this year we wasn't putting as much points as we usually do, so he kind of was two yards and then let, let, it, let it go. Right. Uh, too. Also, like after victories and stuff like that, are you always blasting their music in the locker room for everybody? Once on they it? once they drop their project, I always play his. his I think he had one out at the time. Uh, I was always playing his music. Uh, Note Hood, Super Vulture, and boys rocking to it. Then uh, we started kind of losing. It was we weren't playing nothing in there. <laughs> and then we got That's back on track. We, got, we like, got back on track. So yeah. we, we was playing his music. But I'm always, man. I'm always even if I, when I was had a little few songs. Or he had music in college, and we, it wasn't even out. I was playing it off the audio. Wow. So, okay. always. That's lit, man. We're ready, ready. The whole team, man. Legend Trial. I appreciate y'all stopping through. Uh, I want to get everybody's socials, too, so that may make sure everybody, you know, they get a follow and, you know, the, the city tap in. So, I'm going to do it right here with Jay, and then we're going to go to Isaac. Yeah, you can follow me on Instagram at J300XX. You feel me? Project Got Now the Gift. Screaming all platforms. To tap into that new video, 150 Flow. All right. You can follow me at uh, underscore Isaac Ronte, I-S-A-A-C-R-O-N-T-E. And uh, I got a project out right now. I just dropped it Valentine's Day. It's called Cupid because you played and I didn't. CEO, Rare McLeod, man. Pittsburgh Steelers, man. Wide receiver. Uh, project on the way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, hey, we working. Let's do it. Temple. That's what I like to hear. Putting off for the city, man. Point one. Yes, sir. Let's Shout out my man Ray Ray, man. Keep doing your thing, brother, on and off the field. My respect. Appreciate everybody for pulling up. All right, ready. Fresh out.